up beauties welcome back to my channel it's your girl yanni and today we are gonna do a yanni's car chats i haven't done a yanni's car chats in so very long and yeah it's been crazy crazy i have no idea that 2020 was gonna be what it is quite honestly it is currently june 6th it's actually six days before my birthday um and we've had craziness happen so far i mean from world war three attempts um in january to coronavirus in february and march to lockdown quarantine in april to um killer hornets um in may to um these black lives matter these protesters these riots and everything happening right now into june we've just got into june which is also pride month and it's been crazy so far this year has been insane so if you want to chat with me on my way to work because i am going to work then go ahead and grab a snack, grab a bottle of water, because you know, we're still trying to get healthy. And we will, and keep watching. Okay, so, where do we start? I mean, we are still dealing with the COVID-19 slash, I don't know what right now. Um, slowly, all businesses are opening. That's why I'm going into work, my business. Um, sorry that you hear the winds, but I'm driving to work and I don't have any AC in my car. Um, but yeah, I am currently going to work. I started back at work about two weeks ago because my company decided to reopen. They were allowed to open at 25% occupancy. And then I think it graduated to 50% after the first week. And now from what I hear, they are going to be opening soon at 100%. I am required to wear a mask all through my shift. I'm required to wear gloves all through my shift. If you guys don't know, I do work in a department store. I work in um, the beauty department. And because I have to wear a mask all day, I do not wear face makeup, any complexion products at all. So that's why you see my face the way that it is. I don't wear lipstick either. I do wear chapstick because my lips get dried out. Um, but there's no, it makes no sense for me to wear complexion products when I wear a mask. And the mask will make all of my makeup rub off and I don't need that. So I do wear eye makeup, as you can see, because eyes are what people see right now. So yeah, it's been rough because in my department there's been quite a few changes. We don't have any makeup testers out at all. We didn't have any fragrance testers out, but now we have fragrance testers um, limited. So we have them in like enclosed cases. And if someone wants to spray or smell a scent, they have to come to me and then I have to open up the case, spray it on a tester strip and pass it to them we are maintaining our six feet of social distancing which is which is pretty hard in my department because people would like you know to test products to feel textures to feel you know color matching and things like that so it's been a little rough like unless you know what you are coming for it's gonna be a hard sell for me I've been doing quite a few re-merchandising because we were closed down for almost six to eight weeks. So there's quite a few products that have um, launched and have passed on. And I've been going through a bunch of my uh, merchandise and graphics and just changing things around and re-merchandising. That's pretty much what I've been doing. Um, you know, and still helping the customer and giving good customer service as much as possible. But um, I can't do any makeup application, obviously, because that's not maintaining six feet of social distancing. Um, I can't do any color matching, any of that stuff, so that's a bust. And then, um, yeah, it's just been crazy lately. And now after that, you know, dealing with that, now we have a bunch of controversial stuff. I mean, we've had controversial stuff with our president, which he's a dick. He shouldn't be a president. 
but whatever that's my own opinion and um but now we have the issue of um you know the protesters the rioters the looters and um just black lives matter obviously black lives obviously matter you know i'm puerto rican so i'm part black you know deep deep in my ancestry and i and i believe in the cause and everything like that i just hate the way that the cause ended up happening which was you know an innocent uh innocent black man you know died for it which is george floyd but i'm not going to touch too much on that subject because i i quite honestly still don't understand why things have turned about the way that they've turned about and i just don't want to touch up on that subject but that is something that we are now dealing with coming into june six months into 2020 it's just been craziness then um we also are in pride month which makes me feel sad because we wanted to be able to celebrate with my son pride month you know and go out to all the festivities and things like that but because of covid19 because of the rioters and the looters and the protesters things have been changed things are just not going to happen so that's also kind of a bus we're doing everything possible to celebrate in our home and our things um but yeah it is sad that you know things are taking the turn that it is um but i mean it's been rough having the kids home and in quarantine for the last like 10 weeks already it's insane like they have been driving me up the wall but you know it's something that needed to be done we had it we had to do it so i understand that part um outside of that you know they're coping okay with the move that we did we moved from one part of florida to another part and for what it is they're kind of coping as best as they can my two little ones will be starting school next week daycare after nine grueling stressful weeks i finally got the daycare transfer to happen on a temporary basis which is stupid but i'm just gonna work with what i could and then what can i say it's just been crazy like i'm trying to get back to work so i don't have to be on unemployment so i don't have to be um you know on food stamps and um, all this government assistance but quite honestly i have to be because they're not giving me too much of an option i'm trying my best to get everything together i i wish i didn't need daycare assistance but daycare is super expensive people expect us to want to work or expect us to work um but if we work we're bad mothers because we take them to daycare if we don't work we're bad mothers because we're not setting a good example we're not being good role models so that's a whole other issue that like for another like, video but i finally got that situated my three-year-old ended up getting very sick he has a skin infection and i was in the hospital for the last two and a half days and was released yesterday evening you know we're trying to figure that out he's on a bunch of antibiotics he's got so much stuff that he needs to do and i'm just i'm so stressed with that it's just insane you know i don't understand how my husband could not be as stressed as i am i'm sure he's stressed but he, he obviously must i don't know deal with it differently i don't even know how to deal with it it's, that's the thing it's just it just gets to me and I just get into a depression and I just want to stay in my bed and not go anywhere. With him, he rather, I guess, work out his stress and frustrations. I don't know. I just, for me, I get irritated and I get frustrated and I just don't want to be around anybody. Quite honestly, I don't even want to go to work today. But we have to do what we have to do. You know, I was out of work for the last five days because, like I said, I didn't have any childcare. So I only work Saturdays and Sundays. So I was like, I'm not gonna just call out because of some issue. But I feel now like super weird, like I should have I should have called out, but I don't know. It is what it is. I hate that I get penalized for calling.
falling out. My kid is sick. I hate that I get penalized if I have to leave early because my child is sick or because I don't have anybody to stay with them. It's just, it's such a hard life. I don't know how people balance it. I don't even know how I balance and get through life. Like, I feel like I'm fighting every single day to be a person, to be responsible, to not have anybody talk shit about me at work because I'm a mom, because I have kids, but also to not have people talk shit about me because I'm not working, you know? I don't know. It's, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. It is what it is. But as far as where 2020 is had for us, I mean, ugh, it is exhausting what 2020 has had in store for us. And I am afraid to see what else is coming because we've just entered hurricane season. We're in the sixth day of hurricane season here in Florida. It's been raining and icky and nasty. And from what I've seen, you know, because I try not to keep <laughs> the news on too long because there's just so much crap going on that I don't want to hear it. I'd rather hear positivity um, that there are some tropical systems out in the Atlantic and out in the Gulf that are brewing. So that just, you know, would be like the cream of the crop um, if, <laughs> if this was going to be, you know, end up with a couple of hurricanes. You know, that'll be meshing us into the holiday season. <laughs> because quite honestly, after what, summer, you know, then comes the beginning of school for the kids, which that's gonna be a fight for me because I still haven't registered my children at school because it's been crazy and everything's been locked down. And then holidays come, you know, it's Christmas time again. Christmas in like the beginning of November for the retail industry. And I am not ready for that. I truly am not. You know, I wanted to stick it out for so long at my job, but quite honestly, I don't even know if that's something I want to do anymore in the world that we live in. I hate having to wear a mask all day long. I hate having to wear gloves all day long. It's just... It's not fun. I know we have to do it to protect ourselves and to protect others, but I'm just like, I'm so done. I'm so over it, like I told you. I am so very over 2020. 2020 has dealt me a crazy, crazy, crazy I don't know I was so positive in the beginning of the year I was like yes it's gonna be our year yes yes 2020 it's gonna be our year and quite honestly I don't think it's our year I think it was the start of our year and then things took a crazy turn Like it's just crazy insane and we have no control over it so it is what it is but i'm gonna end this video here because i'm already at work thank you so much for watching um i just needed to jump on here i just needed to get some stuff off my chest like i said it's my opinions it's my what i've come to see in this lovely 2020 and yeah thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell down below so you can get notified every time i upload videos which is three days a week it's tuesdays thursdays and saturdays you know if life permits and yeah it's super insane and i don't know if i care for this year but it is what it is we shall make it through thank you so much again for watching and i will see all you beauties in my next video